So this is our first program that we're writing using for loop. So in this program, user will enter one number and we are required to print table of that number like this. So suppose user has entered 12. So our program should print 12 multiplied by one equal to 12, 12 multiplied by two equal to 24 and so on till 12 multiplied by 10 equal to 120. So in the program, I'm using two variables, i and n. i will be used to maintain count of my iterations and n is the number that will be accepting from user. So these are my first two statements to display string as enter number and take value from user, which will be stored in address of n. So inside of my for loop, I'm initializing i to one. So my condition will be checked as one less than or equal to 10, which is a true condition. This for loop has a single statement. That is why we are not writing parentheses for this block. So those are optional. So as our condition is true, which is one less than or equal to 10. So compiler will print this part. So what is happening over here? I'm writing percent %d. This is x to denote multiplication. Again, a percent %d equal to percent %d. So first percent %d will be replaced by the user's number, which is 12 in this case. And then I'm writing value of i, which is iteration count. Okay. And after that, I'm just simply writing n multiplied by i. So every time what is happening, I'm multiplying user's number by my iteration, which will be starting from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Also notice that n multiplied by is an inline operation that we are performing over here. So once this statement is printed, the compiler will increment value of i to 2. So once that value is incremented, it will check the condition 2 less than or equal to 10, which is true. So it will again print this value. So this statement will be executed till time i is less than or equal to 10. So let us assume i has become 10 now. So 10 less than or equal to 10, which is a true condition. It will print 12 multiplied by 10 equal to 120. Once this is printed, your i will be incremented to 11 and the condition will be false because 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So your for loop will be terminated and your output on the screen will be like this.